Hi guys, today I'm making a blueberry pie. I have six cups of washed blueberries in a bowl ready to go. I already have one part of my crust ready to go that I put in the pan. I just bought pie crusts, Pillsbury pie crust from Kroger just because it's easier and I don't think it's that big of a deal um, to make it when it's already pre-made because it pretty much tastes the same, at least I think so. So anyway, so the crust is ready to go. I've got six cups of blueberries ready to go and then I have something called a lemon peel zest and I'm going to do one teaspoon of that to put in. All right, hold on, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see me, hopefully. So we've got one teaspoon of that. I'm gonna put that in. Then we have one tablespoon of lemon juice. So we'll put that in. All right, we got one lemon juice, one tablespoon of lemon juice in there. All right, then we have one fourth cup of tapioca flour. You can also use regular flour if you don't have that, or cornstarch. I had actually had the tapioca flour. What a concept. So I'm gonna put that in. That's one fourth of a cup. So we'll stick that in. And then I have a half of a cup of just regular white sugar. So I'll put the half a cup in. Okay. And then cinnamon, there's a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of that in. And then I'm gonna mix it up. So let me get my little mixer. So let me show you what that looks like. Here we go, and we'll mix that up. Get everything all, all the blueberries with all the ingredients mixed in. So I'm gonna just put this down for a minute so that I can finish mixing that. Sorry, Amelia's not with me today. She's busy doing a Father's Day present. So we'll mix that up, and I've got the cinnamon, the sugar, the tapioca, the lemon juice, the lemon zest, and the blueberries. So that's all ready, almost all ready to go in there in the crust. So we'll put that in the crust. When I put the crust in to make it easier to come out, I flour the bottom of it so that it pops out a little bit easier. So we've got all the... That's a lot of blueberries. Got all the blueberries in there. We'll smooth that out. One escaped. There we go. And then I have my other pie crust, the second one. I'm gonna put that on top. So here's what it looks like right now. Zoop. Looks so nice in there. It's very, very full. So that's what that looks like. And I'm about to put the second um, crust on the top, so we'll unroll that. Also, when you do these crusts, you want to get them to be room temperature before you unroll them, otherwise they're a little harder to work with. Or you want to do the real way. Yeah, my husband prefers the real way, but you know, when you're in a hurry and you don't want to take that much effort, then you just do it this way. Choo choo choo, come on little crust. Doesn't want to undo itself, come on. Ah, come on. Here we go. And this top layer doesn't want to unroll very well, so let's keep trying. I'm gonna have to do a little operation here to kind of squish it together. is looking a little funky on the one side but it should still taste pretty good I got one little hole I'm trying to cover up all 
All right, and then we, what you do is you squeeze the two crusts together. Last time I had a problem because I didn't squeeze them well enough and a lot of the inner uh, liquid part was popping out the sides, so hopefully I can do a better job this time of squeezing the crust together so that doesn't happen this time. So now I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> All right, so we're getting that nice and squeezed together. And then we fold it onto the top of the pie, and then we'll cut off the edges. So I'll show you that in just a second. All right, here's what it looks like so far. We got one part here that's not the best looking, but I think it'll be all right. And then I'm going to squinch the sides down. And this is after I put the crusts, the two crusts together. So hopefully they don't, the liquid doesn't come out this time. And then we'll kind of put it over the edge, fold it a little bit over the edge. And then I'm gonna take a little knife and cut off the sides of that. So hold on one second. pretty good and then what I'm going to do is it's all ready to go then I'm going to take a fork and make a little design on there make it look fancy take a knife and we're going to put little opening slots just to kind of let the steam come out. Maybe I'll make one right here since there's already a line. We could do that. And then one right here so that it can pop out a little. And hopefully that'll just close up where it was open before, but that looks pretty good. So now we're going to put it in the oven. The oven is at 425 degrees. So we're going to put that in the oven. So that'll go in. There we go. Stick that in. All right, so that's at 425 degrees, and it is for 20 minutes at that uh, temperature, and then you bring it down to 350 degrees for between 30 and 40 minutes, and then you're gonna cool on a wire rack. You know what we could also do? I forgot. Here, let me show you. Underneath I put um, another pan with some foil on it so that it catches any of the blueberry sauce that comes out, but you know what I forgot? I forgot to put um, the little, um, egg wash on top. Let me do that because that makes it look really pretty. So, sorry, this is the first time I've made this pie. I got one egg and one tablespoon of milk and I have to get one of those little brushes to brush this on. I have a teaspoon, I guess I'll put it on for now. And you put it on just so it makes a nice brown color. So I'm just gonna make a little swirlies around with the egg. 
Hopefully it'll make it look really pretty. Nice little egg wash. Oopsies. It is falling, dripping everywhere. So that should look really good. All right, and then hold on, I spilled a little bit. Let me get that on the floor. All righty, put that in there. And then what I forgot to tell you too, is I get some tin foil and I put that on the edges of the pie because otherwise the edges will start to burn a little bit. So we'll put that on the edges. And then right before it's done, maybe 10 minutes before, I'll probably take them off just to make sure that they, the edges have browned enough. You can also buy like the little pie edge protectors at the grocery store. So that might be my next purchase, as well as the little brush thing to brush the, um, the egg wash on top. Let's move this out of the way. All right, and I'm gonna put it in, then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so that's in. You can see the tin foil is just wrapped around the edges of the pie. And then I'm gonna close it up and it's at 425 and it's going to be on there for about 20 minutes so i will see you back in 20 minutes all right guys here is the finished product of the blueberry pie i just took it out of the oven after it was in there for 20 minutes at 425 and then it was in there for about 40 minutes at 350 so we're all done i'm going to let it cool and then we'll have some pie tonight have a good day